second and four. Smith. Pops it out short. That's Lamar Smith. Touchdown. It's over. scenario for the Rams are going to get it back with plenty of time left after the punt which is fair caught at the 9-yard line and then fumbled at the 11-yard line and who has the football? The Saints! The Saints. Oh. It's almost as if Hakeem nonchalanted the catch! So the Rams comeback comes up short and in the most improbable scenario imaginable, off a 3-13 and season with a rookie head coach, with a quarterback who takes over in late November, with their main running back gone, with their primary receiver hurt in the first quarter, with a new general manager, this, I don't want to say moribund franchise, but it's been a pretty sad state of affairs in the Big Easy. Two plays later in third and 20. Rob Burnett, who quietly has had such a big year. Hello. Five sacks for the Ravens defense. Farrat, 13 to 28 for 124. 10-year Bronco, now Raven Shannon Sharp. That was an 81 in the wild card when the Giants won. But that's not going to dampen what happens here today and what's happened here today. I'll tell you, that offensive line did their job Didn't today. They, though? They, they, they took control. They handled that line of scrimmage. and Big John Runyon. They won that battle. Jeff Lurie, the owner of the Eagles. He has so many heroes down there today, he doesn't know who to go to first. They just actually, Dick, they just started the trail. This team's going to be around for a while. Chad Morton on the run, and uh, they've got a good head man. And uh, still around is Dennis Green, who is going to move on the Minnesota Vikings the number two seed will advance to the NFC championship game for the eighth time in team history like to reverse the events of two years ago when they lost to the Falcons in overtime here but the Minnesota Vikings have moved on as they have defeated the Saints that'll do it John Gruden and the Oakland Raiders on their way to the AFC Championship game. They'll play the winner of tomorrow's Baltimore-Tennessee matchup. All look for somebody to hit. Great point, Tom. McNair's pass through the hands of Eddie George. In in the hands later in the fourth of Ray Lewis. And there he goes. Fred Miller, get out. Frank Wycheck, get out. Titans, get out. 24-10. The Ravens, quote the Titans, nevermore. Celebration for Baltimore. The Giants get to play in the big one. After this, there will only be one game between the New York Giants and the Super Bowl. Super Bowl number 35. The Giants will let it run out and come away with their third victory of the year over the Philadelphia Eagles. You had nine, and that was nothing. As a Piker. Rock is running down and Fossil goes to top of the shoulder. You've been through that, John. And you and I have been through 20 years. Yep. Those are 20 great years, and this is a great feeling right here. And, and now, now we're going to have the crowning because the, the Giants won the NFC Championship. The guys. See, that's one of the guys he's handled himself very well. Point. Throws down the middle. Caught at midfield. And that's Jerry Porter, the rookie out of West Virginia. And that is going to do it for the AFC Championship game. Ray Lewis, Brian Billick, Trent Dilfer, and the Baltimore Ravens are headed to Tampa. We'll now try to copy the Ravens' way. Barber. Looks like he's short of a first down, but time will run out. Or at least the clock is now stopped with three seconds to play, but... People are charging the field. Jerry Austin winds the clock, and that will bring Super Bowl 35 to an end. Ray Lewis, the MVP, 
and what a year that caps for the middle linebacker of the Baltimore Ravens.